As we look at standouts from recent PBR showcases, we start things off in California, where we're joined by Blaine Clements and Les Lukash. Guys, welcome in. Yeah, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Yep, appreciate it. Looking forward a to it. Of, a ton of events, obviously, across the state in September and October. Give me a couple of the players that you guys couldn't stop talking about. Blaine, we'll start off with you. Uh, we've got a catcher up here, uh, Wood Creek High School, who's had a great, great season last year. They went 26 and one and got bounced in the first round. They got a sophomore catcher coming in as a transfer named John Handy. I'm not sorry, a sophomore. He's a 2024, so he's a junior now. I got to get used to that. Um, he's a catcher who we've got ranked really high. Uh, I've seen him a number of times. I think he came out first time as a freshman a couple of years back. And he's a prototypical backstop with a with a strong arm, an accurate arm, uh, outstanding receiver, polished and working with uh, – the defense and with the pitchers, the bat shows up with some juice, uh, pull side power, hand speed, bat speed, uh, presence is very young, professional, uh, confident. Uh, he's uncommitted at this point, and the catcher spot could be a little tricky because there's, at least in my experience, there's more good catchers than there are spots for them at college levels because there's just not that many on college rosters. And I think John's kind of in a, in a crunch right there, but uh, he's an outstanding talent with, again, he's got tools and makeup. Jaden Lee then, so he plays with a teammate named Jaden Lee in the summertime on an alpha team. Uh, Jaden goes to Marin Catholic, um, coached by former big leaguer Jesse Foppert, who had a, a fortunate to coach him in college a few years back when I was at USF. Um, Jaden is a plus plus runner. I've seen him as low as, I'm going to say 6'5", 2 uh, on turf. We had him a little like 6'6", six, 2", six, I think, at the last event, same event John was at. Uh, Arm is in the mid 80s, like 86, 87 from the outfield. Uh, but again, he's, he's a right-handed hitter, right-handed thrower with, with burning speed, good physical body. The bat's going to have to come along just a little bit, but there's plenty of hand speed, natural talent, just a little consistency he needs um, to, to piece it all together. But easy when you go to a field and you scan the field and you're looking for bodies and then you look at the way that his body moves. And then he's also a high energy kid. He, at a showcase, he's one of the first ones to meet other kids. He's one of the first ones to get to know the, the director running the event and joking around and having just really enjoying baseball, enjoying being good at baseball, enjoying atmospheres and teammates. And uh, yeah, fun kid to root for. All right, Les, turn it over to you. Give us a couple guys you want to spotlight. Yeah, you know, first guy is a junior shortstop, Thomas Carney down at St. Augustine High School. You know, the thing that's really interesting about Carney is that in the showcase setting, he, he doesn't do anything that's really eye-popping, but then you get him into a game, and he's like a completely different player. We saw it at the West Coast games in Vegas, and we saw it at our top prospect games here in uh, Orange County, You know where it was one of those deals like during the workout, you're like, oh, man, you know, we've seen him really good, and, and it's just not translating to the showcase workout. Uh, but then in the three games in, in Vegas, uh, he collected something like seven hits, uh, the top pros tro prospect games, excuse me, uh, he collected another two or three hits in that game. Uh, and, and it's just, he's an on base machine. It's either through a walk. Uh, he got hit by a couple of pitches out in Vegas, uh, you know, and the bat to ball skills are, are really impressive and defensively in game, he shows all the tools and all the actions that you want out of a middle infielder, you know, pro maybe projects a little bit more as a second baseman than a shortstop in the future. But this is a guy who, who, you know, whether it's a power five school or, or even a mid major type school, has an opportunity to really excel once he gets there. Uh, his older brother is, is playing currently at UC Irvine, uh, and that might be the, the perfect level for Thomas as well. All right, Les, give us another one. Yeah, the other guy is a 23 outfielder, Bradley Navarro out of Huntington Beach. Every time we see this guy, all he does is hit from the left side. He's got a little bit of pop, uh, but you know he's, he's, he's an average runner. Uh, but the defense and the outfield, he, he for some reason, his in-game speed is much better than a straight line 60. Uh, you know, he's able to track down balls, good arm strength from the outfield, can make all the throws. Uh, it's consistent arm strength that he's shown over the last three, four years for us. Uh, but it, the bat right now, to me, is the carrying tool. Uh, you know, we see him. Uh, he plays for Huntington Beach, as I mentioned. They play, you know, the who's who out here in Southern California, uh, them being in that who's who. Uh, and, and he always shows up, and he's got an opportunity this year to, I think, finally be a starter for Huntington Beach and really get the, the reps that he deserves uh, in that position to catch a college coach's attention. Well, guys, thanks. And we'll check back real soon on what's happening out in the Golden State. Thanks a lot. 
Next up, we head to Wisconsin, where scouting director Vinny Rotino checks in after the Southern Wisconsin Open and unsigned senior showcase. Vinny, good to have you in. Yeah, great to be here. Thanks, Corey. Absolutely. Now, what players have stood out to you when you've had a chance to kind of take a step back from these recent events? Yeah, so a couple of guys, a couple of under-the-radar players for me stood out at the Southern Wisconsin Open in particular, and um, a kid named Tavian Ramos, totally off the radar. He plays for a Legion program up in Nina, Wisconsin, and Tavian shows up, hadn't really heard heard of him or heard from him uh, yet as the scouting director of the state of Wisconsin. Like I said, he's, he's up in Nina. He's at 2024. So he was a sophomore last year. Didn't really get a chance to take a look at him during the high school season. Um, he shows up big, long, lanky, six foot, two, 170 pound, dripping wet uh, player, projectable body. I watch him swing and the swing was intriguing. Um, and you know, he, he barreled up some balls, um, ended up talking to his dad a little bit. His dad, played professional baseball. He's from the Dominican Republic, actually. Um, Tavian, Tavian, obviously born here in the United States, but then he shows up on the mound and it's a, it, it's a clean, repeatable delivery. Um, it's up to 86. It's, he can spin a breaking ball. He's got feel for a changeup. Um, he is actually, you know, he's pounding the zone wherever he wants, commanding the baseball. So on the mound, this is a really interesting prospect in ta and Tavian Ramos, um, like I said, kind of off the radar. He's continuing to play for that Legion program up there in Nina, Wisconsin. So this is a name that I'm going to be following quite closely going forward here as we get in, into the uh, winter and the preseason ID events and, uh, in, in, into the high school season. But this is, this is case in point, Corey, why we do what we do, right? I mean, this is a kid that's again, off the radar playing for a smaller program and he shows up and he does what he did. And so now we're going to go ahead and really, pay close attention to him. So Tavian Ramos is that first name. Um, the other guy uh, that really showed out well at that Southern Wisconsin Open is Connor Harvey. He's a, is a catcher for the Sticks program. Stick, the, the new Sticks GRB, they've combined uh, program. And uh, I mean, it was it was a really impressive look from a 2025. He's going into his sophomore season. Uh, he's a catcher for Waterford Union. Um, and it, he just folds up really well. Um, really clean, soft hands behind the plate, blocks well. I mean, this is a catcher. Uh, this is this is a kid that's born and raised to to catch and really command a pitching staff. Quick, quick feet, quick exchange, turns the ball around quickly. Around a two two zero pop time right now. He's going to continue to quicken up. That arm is going to continue to get stronger. In the, in the swing, it was impressive. It, it was in the zone forever, uh, just barreling up balls, just shooting balls all over the place. Um, so Connor Harvey is that other name that uh, we're going to go ahead and keep a really close attention to going into the spring. Fantastic stuff, Vinny. Thanks, and we'll check back with you real soon. Sounds good. Thanks, Corey. And as we turn our attention to Georgia, we bring in PBR Georgia's Justin Getz to hit us on some of the showcases that have taken place in that state. Justin, man, how's it going? Good, brother. How are you? Good, man. So you guys have been absolutely swamped, I know, with all these showcases, these campus tours that you guys have done. Give me a couple of players though, that have really popped for you from these events. Yeah, man, the talent at our showcase has been incredible. I'll start off first with Noah Thigpen. He was from our UGA part of the campus tour. 6'2", 180, right-handed pitcher from Lowndes High School. Um He's a 2024, uh, went from low to mid 80s about eight to 10 months ago to touching 90 now. Uh, it's a prototype frame, athleticism and projection. Another jump's absolutely imminent with this kid just due to the frame, passion, delivery. Um, it's one of the most fluid, rare deliveries in the state, regardless of class. Everything happens in perfect sequence, unreal lower half mechanics. Hip shoulder, hip shoulder separation is uh, what you see in only elite college and pro guys. Uh, the sequence is the biggest reason he's been a 75% strikes guy at Lake Point. So it's not just, you know, he's been able to maintain strike throwing uh, with his jump and velo. The arm action is incredibly clean with a loose mid-depth arm swing. Uh, stays connected with his largest muscles on the backside from start to finish. His arm's never in a bad position. Uh, let's go to the stuff. He's fastball is 88, 89 sitting right now, touching 90 at 23 to 2400 RPM with ride and run. Uh, 
He's got elite IVB numbers. I mean, they're, they're, you know, better than a lot of the best guys in college and pro ball, uh, fastball wise. And, and we think that's going to jump big time, uh, over the next year or so. Uh, second pitch is a slurve at 76 to 78 with sweep and late depth throws it for strikes. It's, you know, it's not totally there yet as far as sharpness, but it's going to be, you know, a, a very good pitch. Uh, the change up is his third pitch, 80, 81 fader with big potential. I think he just doesn't throw it much right now, but it's got similar life on the fat of the fastball and, uh, his intent is the same with the pitch. So I have a lot of belief that he's going to be a legit three pitch guy by the time he leaves high school. Um, and also, you know, considered a draft prospect before he leaves high school. He's not even committed yet. Um, number two is Hunter Stone Cipher, very unknown kid, hmm. six foot 170 catcher from Clark Central. He's a 2025. 20, I ran into him randomly during the high school playoffs. Every other game got canceled on the day. 1A private school matchup. Thought it was going to rain out. Uh, I saw him hit two balls off the wall versus a D1 arm, and that was about 10 pounds ago. Uh, he's got advanced pitch recognition and plate discipline. Uh, the approach is very good. Some of the best, most well-sequenced swing mechanics in the state, and that's, you know, uh, what I'm looking for in a pitcher or a hitter. I want to see the best mechanics are usually the better athletes at the position. Uh, he had the second highest rotational acceleration at UGA, uh, just meaning he can, he can turn the barrel in tight space very quickly. Um, he's one of the sharpest players I've been around, big time makeup and baseball IQ. Uh, and he's just as special behind the dish. Uh, 199 pop. And honestly, I feel like he's a 195 guy. But the best thing about it is in the game, he's just as quick, maybe quicker. Uh, cause he's not thinking, doesn't have time to think. Um, it'll, it'll improve dramatically. I think as he gains strength over these next couple of years, the footwork exchange direction and accuracy are, are advanced for his age blocking and receiving as well. Uh, the kid does everything at a high level and all he needs to be a national name is more strength. So he was very exciting. Awesome, Justin. Obviously, some big guys there, as you've seen recently. Appreciate it, man. We'll check back in with you real soon. Yes, sir. As we zero in on showcases in the Show Me State, we bring in Missouri Scouting Director Kevin Mulder. Kevin, good to have you in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Excited to talk about some of these guys from this fall. Yeah, you've had a ton of showcases. So give me a couple of the names that have really popped for you in these recent events. Yeah, I guess I'll start with the, the Mo Fall games that we had back in uh, early to mid-September. Um, Jackson Vaughn uh, is a 2025 left-handed hitting outfielder from Francis Howell High School that um, is really making waves and uh, caught our attention. He's absolutely one of the players that needs to be known in that class in Missouri. Um, tall, athletic, uh, kind of rangy outfielder uh, that really has a feel for the barrel and uh, has a nice swing and good offensive game. So that's one of the 25 class that I really like that showed well at the Mo Fall games um, in mid-September. And then a player that came to a couple of events, a Johnny Hankey, um, had a really nice fall and showed well a couple times. Um, has a live upper 80s fastball, um, kind of an explosive fastball, comes out of the hand well, uh, has a feel for the breaking ball. Uh, he's a senior. He's in the home. He's a homeschool kid. Plays for the St. Louis Patriots, um, and is an arm to follow. That's uncommitted and uh, you know needs a home in that senior class. And then from our fall um, St. Louis Open that we just was, which was our final event of the fall, um, Nathan Smith, right-handed pitcher from uh, Southern Boone, who uh, captured the 4A state championship in Missouri, showed extremely well. Um, kind of a tall, projectable arm, um, 83 to 86, and had a really good feel for the curveball. He was landing it for strikes, uh, currently uncommitted. And, um, yeah, those would be three guys in particular, uh, obviously all uncommitted, um, 
that uh, certainly are worthy of some attention here. Awesome stuff there, Kevin. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it.